please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call this meeting to order at 6 p.m. Make it a roll call, please. Michael Cashman. Present. Thomas Wood. Here. Barbara Heber. Here. Charles Costick. Here. Dana Isabella is absent. James Coffey. Here. And I, Kevin Lucci, is present. Uh, resolution 137, accept the minutes of the previous meeting. Resolve that the minutes of the May 12th, 2022 be accepted and the reading of the minutes be dispensed with. Is there a motion? So moved. Caustic, is there a second? Second. Uh, Hebert, any discussion? Seeing none. All's in favor, please say aye. 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 Resolution carries. <coughs> uh, is there anyone seeking to provide public comment this evening? Seeing none, we'll move forward. Resolution 138, the abstract. Resolve that the abstract of audited claims number 7A-22 for $1,339,388.33 abstract 7A-22 prepays for the amount of $325,837.77 be received as reviewed by the audit committee and the supervisor is hereby authorized to pay said abstract. Is there a motion? So moved. Hebert, is there a second? Second. Caustic, any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Resolution carries. Resolution 139, monthly department reports. Resolve to receive and place on file monthly department head reports. For April and May, we have dog control officer. We have the highway superintendent for May of 2022, parks and recreation for June of 2022, codes and zoning for May of 2022, planning community development for May of 22. And supervisor's financial report for 22 May of 22 and town clerk for May of 22. Is there a motion? Mm -hmm. Wood, is there a second? Second. Costic, any discussion? Seeing none. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Resolution carries. Re resolution 140, Agriculture and Industrial Fair of Clinton County. Whereas the town clerk has received an application with the fee which is a check for the amount of $600, for a license to conduct and operate a place of public amusement within the town of Plattsburgh, the Agricultural Industrial Fair of Clinton County, Inc. at the Clinton County Fairgrounds. And whereas upon the applicant receiving the issuance of a New York State Certificate of Inspection by the Code Enforcement Officer, indicating full compliance, and it will be submitted to the town's clerk's office, therefore be resolved that after review of the Certificate of Insurance, naming the town of Plattsburgh as additional insurer, the town clerk is hereby authorized to issue said license for the period of Tuesday, July 26th through Sunday, July 31st, and be a further result that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager, codes officer, and pool insurance. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Hebert, is there a second? Second. Wood, any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution carries. Resolution 141, purchase of enclosed job trailer. Whereas the Water and Wastewater Department needs a larger enclosed job trailer for transporting necessities to job site. And whereas procedures for purchase of commodities, equipment, and or goods and contract values requires the town to solicit price quotes for amounts in excess of 5000 And whereas the Water and Wastewater Department requested three solicited prices and is requesting permission to purchase an enclosed job trailer. Therefore, be it resolved that the purchase of an enclosed job trailer be awarded to Taylor Rental Plaza in New York, the lowest bid in the amount of $9,199 be approved, and is further resolved that the payment be made payable from the 2022 Water and Wastewater Budget Account, uh, and that a copy of this resolution be given to the Water and Wastewater Department and Budget Office. Is there a motion? Second. Austin, is there a second? Second. Wood, any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Resolution carries. Resolution 142, Authorize Highway Superintendent to start the 2022 paving program. Whereas Tim Dupree, higher Highway Superintendent, has identified the town roads that are in greatest needs of repair with a total estimated cost of $325,751.80. And whereas funding for the 2022 road paving and repair, excuse me, for funding for the 2022 road paving repair and improvement program is to be taken from the road paving account uh, therefore, be it resolved that the town board does hereby authorize the highway superintendent to spend the appropriated funds to implement the April 
Prevention 2022 Road Paving Program. The paving to take place on roads is recommended by the Highway Superintendent. And it's further resolved that a popular resolution be given to the Finance Manager and the Highway Superintendent. Uh, is there a motion? So moved. Ebert, is there a second? Second. Bostic. Uh As part of this resolution that I just want to provide uh, two items uh, directly from uh, the Highway Superintendent's letter, I'm requesting the Town Board resolution to accept the attached 2022 paving list. This list includes most roads, uh, but due to unexpected circumstances, it could change plus or minus. I think it's important to note that we're seeing uh, some all-time high costs in asphalt, uh, and um, you know that's that's part of it. But one thing that I would give um, a note of deep appreciation is we have a shared service with Beekman Town and Skylar Falls. Uh, and we have done so for a number of years that has, I think, greatly put us at an advantage uh, over the last couple of years with some of our equipment. Uh, but keeping that in note, uh, the 2022 tentative uh, road list that the Highway Superintendent has listed is Duran Road, Newell Ave, KC Loop, Ruger Street, Ruger Street Extension, and Plaza Boulevard. Uh, I would particularly note that Plaza Boulevard, uh, that was uh, particularly planned with the expansion of the road. Uh, there was for lack of better terms, just the initial top coat or, or the base coat that was on there. So that's why um, that's been added. Most people are going to see that and be like, oh, isn't that a fairly new road? There was uh, a particular need because of infrastructure. Okay. All right. Uh, any additional discussion on that? Just wanted to provide some context. Seeing none, uh, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Resolution carries. Resolution 143, 2022 Highway Road Striping Program. Whereas the town of Plattsburgh and Clinton County participate in shared services to save costs and duplication of services, and whereas Highway Superintendent Tim Dupree has recently been in contact with the Clinton County Highway Department Superintendent Carl Weiss regarding the highway striping program for the town of Plattsburgh, and whereas the town of Plattsburgh has appropriated money in the 2022 highway budget for the 2022 road striping program, and whereas Tim Dupree, Highway Superintendent, has submitted the 2022 highway road striping program in the amount of 13000 $41.58. Now, therefore, be a result that the town board does hereby authorize the highway superintendent to spend the 2022 budgeted funds from account to execute the uh, aforementioned 2022 road striping program. It be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the highway superintendent and the Clinton County Highway Superintendent. Okay, this your motion. So moved. Huber, second. Wood. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor please say aye. 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 Resolution carries. Resolution 144, apply for funding through the 2022 Consolidated Funding Application CFA for Green Innovation Grant Program GIGP through New York Environmental Facilities Corporation, NYSEFC. Whereas the town of Plattsburgh, after due consideration, has determined that it is desirable and in the public interest to undertake the necessary activities for the submittal of a CFA grant under the 2022 NYSEFC Green Innovation Grant Program, GIGP, for green infrastructure improvements along New York Road. And whereas the town class proposes to utilize GIGP program funds to improve stormwater quality discharge of Lake Champlain and impaired water body through the New York Road Green Infrastructure Project. Whereas the Town of Plattsburgh New York Road Green Infrastructure Project prioritizes climate change mitigation, environmental justice, integration, natural restoration, and transformation to provide multiple environmental, economic, and social benefits to all, including residents living within the Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act, disadvantaged community, and potential environmental justice area. Whereas the project was awarded 388875 from the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation of 2021 Climate Smart Community Grant Program for the construction of designated bike lanes on each side of New York Road to offer an alternative mode of transportation. And whereas the project will utilize New York State Environmental Corporation GIGP funds for the installation of green stormwater infrastructure for New York Road, and whereas the reconstruction project provides a unique opportunity to leverage GIGP and CSC funds to increase stormwater capacity through innovative methods for improved water quality and reduced runoff discharge. And whereas the town is prepared to commit municipal funds as a local cash match to meet the match requirement of 10% of the GIGP total project cost. Now therefore be it resolved that the Town of Town Board authorizes and directs the town supervisors to, to submit an application to the Green Innovation Grant Program 
through NYSEFC and to execute all documents necessary for implement implementation of this work relating to the financial and or administrative processes of the grant program. Be a further resolved to the extent any or all actions hereby authorized have been executed and will perform by the supervisor. All are hereby ratified and confirmed and this resolution is <coughs> effective immediately. <coughs> Is there a motion? So moved. Ebert, is there a second? Second. Would the discussion? No. Uh, can I get a roll call vote on this just because it's a grant? Tom Wood? Yes. Robert Ebert? Yes. Charles Kostick? Yes. Michael Cashman? Uh, yes. Resolution just carried. Uh, the last of that paperwork will be submitted uh, either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, resolution 145, Zoning Ordinance Amendment for former Clinton County Airport Smart Growth Plan Implementation. Whereas in 2021, the Town Board of the Town Plaza adopted the Smart Growth Plan for the former Clinton County Airport dated October 28, 2021. And whereas that plan recommends certain zoning strategies, design criteria, and road and utility <coughs> patterns for the for furtherance of town smart growth objectives. And whereas the Planning Board of the Town Plaza has issued a res resolution to the Town Board recommending that the town board take action to amend the zoning ordinance in conformance with the former county airport smart growth plan. And whereas per zoning ordinance article, oh geez, what number is that? Let's see, 15, 17, section 17.2D, a zoning ordinance amendment may be initiated upon the town board appointing a committee for the purposes of doing so. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board does hereby commence an amendment of the town zoning ordinance by the appointment of a committee for the purposes of doing so and be a further result that the committee shall be comprised of the town code enforcement officers, planners, and one member uh, each from the planning, zoning, and town boards of the town class. And be a further result that the said committee shall provide draft materials to the town board for consideration and shall proceed with amendments as per Article 17 of the town zoning ordinance. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Hubert. Um, yes, I, I wonder why we have one member from the town board when we usually have two on these committees? Um, this is only because it's a shortened version of what it is. It's an overlay. Um, it's more of a work group. That's the only reason though. So it's, it's much, it is much smaller in regards to what it is. So because the plan that you have received uh, previous is basically the adoption is the mechanics. So, okay. Um, Great question though. Let me just uh, put additional some context. Uh, this has been recommended by the, the planning board. Uh, not only was it recommended by the planning board, it was done so unanimously, um, which I think is fantastic. I think it speaks volumes um, that, you know, we've talked many, many times that <coughs> the town of Plattsburgh really leans on our legacy of planning. Uh, we continue to lead in many respects in smart growth not only for our town center, uh, but the former county airport is going to allow for us to continue to uh, stay ahead of the curve. So um, there's some good things, and, and there's more mechanical elements this time that people will have to weigh in on stuff. So uh, that's that, all right. Any further discussion? Uh, with this resolution too, I would ask for a roll call. Thomas Wood. Yes. Barbara Hebert. Yes. Charles Kostick. Yes. Michael Cashman. Uh, yes, uh, resolution carries. Thank you very much, folks. Resolution 146, agreement with TD Bank. Where is it necessary to update the TD Bank agreement to reflect changes in the banking industry and where TD Bank has submitted an updated agreement to the town for banking services that was outlined in the agreement. Therefore, be resolved that after review by the town attorney, the supervisor be authorized to sign an agreement between TD Bank and the town of as it relates to banking services. Uh, is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Caustic, is there a second? Second. Uh, Hebert, uh, just for discussion, Jim's already reviewed it and said it's fine. So. Is, uh, yeah. Does it entail uh, any other fees or no. things that we had in the past? All right, uh, and also uh, for them, uh, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Barbara Hebert? Yes. <coughs> Charles Custick? Yes. Michael Cashman? Yes. Uh, resolution does carry. I know of no reason to go into an executive session. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn tonight's proceedings? So I'd like to bring up one, sure. one thing from uh, town clerk. Uh, when, uh, we met with the liaison um, 
they need to have the uh, a drawer for the for typing. They need to, if they have it, it needs to be installed. And they've been waiting. If they have they have the, the drawer, but it needs to be installed by buildings and grounds. Okay. Um, so I didn't. If you want, I'll, I I don't know. You know, maybe whoever's on the buildings and grounds committee can bring it up, or I'll. All you have to do is talk to me, and we'll make it a priority. So, all right. Uh, anything else? For once, or twice. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Tostic, is there a second? Second. Uh, Ebert. We will adjourn at 6.15 p.m. Uh, sorry, all is in favor. Aye. 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 There it is. Thank you. <laughs> all right. And you'll fill that out for me, Katie. Fill that out here for you. The paperwork for that Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> the one that's got to get out. The one that's got to get out. That point more. that I could put it in the email and send a, it over to the You need a copy the of the actual resolution. Tonight, too. <clears throat> Do you need a copy?